She said, what you know about love? I tell you everything. I got what you need. We can finish the story. What it is, what it is. How's my favorite DJ and my favorite producer tonight? Man, turn, we good, turn. we good, representing out here, man, we good, right, we vibing? All day, all day, all day, y'all already know what it is, the recipe podcast on The Great FM. Tonight I got a couple of things I wanted to say, I just kind of wanted to add an extra question tonight, so I got a bonus topic. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So what, you going to jump into the topics without even introducing the show? No, I was just letting y'all know I got an extra oh, bonus topic oh, today. Damn, you ready to get into your shits already. Right? I mean, y'all already know what it is. The, you know, the recipe for me is just the inside. This is home. Feel me? We, we just sharing opinions, communicating. It's a way to get close. To, I feel like we, we're not honest enough out here. So, you know, it's always best to kind of just talk, get close, get real, get deep. Hello, good job. Hello, good job. So we out here giving y'all some stuff to get y'all life right, you feel me? You know, for the most part. That's Sharing what, opinions. opinions. I feel like your opinion and your perspective is important just as well as mine, just as well as yours is yours. You feel me? I'm just saying, why not talk about it? Let's talk about it. Let's share it. I mean, that's a fact. There's no one way to actually cook a meal. So you feel me? We're going to throw in the ingredients that we got. You know, you might have a different ingredient. I might have a different ingredient, but the food still tastes good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, Sometimes that yeah, shit is horrible. Some of y'all ain't really fucked up. Somebody or horrible. But yeah, y'all already know what it is. That's pretty much the recipe. So stay tuned. Y'all know what it is. And go follow it. Go follow the IG too. Yeah, the recipe podcast on IG. That's how y'all know what's coming up. Cause. You know, we ain't never gonna stop. I ain't start the ball. I ain't, I ain't stopping the ball. Ain't Let stopping the ball roll. You know what I'm saying? Stopping. Yeah. So yeah, you feel me? You can find us on the Recipe Podcast, or you could go ahead and go on the Great FM just to get some news. You might see some other shows on there, so you gonna see that platform. But the Recipe Podcast, if you wanna hear just mainly about uh, our news and our shows and things like that, the Recipe gonna have all of that on there for you. For me. And you know, you gotta let them know where to find you at. Oh well, Exotic Black View. I think they already know where to find me. <laughs> and Facebook, Kiki View. Uh -huh. It's a lot. Either one. Yeah, let them know. Well, you know, you can find me at King's Creations. You feel me? That's you can find me at. That's King's with a Z and underscore Creations. You feel me? DJ, where you at, DJ? I'm like NF Doughboy on Instagram. You yeah, can I find know. me at NF Doughboy. Ready, ready. Take so what we way. doing? We letting DJ drop something for us right now or you want to get into the shits because you be ready. Well, because we have a bonus question, I guess we could get into the first uh, topic of the day. Topic. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, well, if you have a new boo, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say one of their exes is trying to reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Just trying to like, you know, just warn you about your new boo. Mm -hmm. Like, what, how do you go about that? Like, what would you do about that? Cause I feel like that's a little. So I got I got a new dom and some random nigga just hit me up. <laughs> 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 what? I, I don't that's, know that's if men happening? do that. Do do some guys do that? I mean, if you are if you are doing something like that, that's not your man side. Let's just put that out there. That's, that's your the boy side. side. <laughs> Why well, gotta be the bitch side? How the fuck you gonna be hitting me up? You feel me? Like, that's crazy. Like, I don't know you, nigga. The fuck you talking yeah. about? Tell me about this girl for, man. Like, and anyway, either way, right? All right. If some random nigga is just hitting me up, or let's say it's somebody that maybe have seen me around, mm -hmm. and they hit me up and try to tell me about this girl. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I mean, first of all, like, I don't know how they're going to reach me to tell me. Because, you know, like, if the conversation ain't about business and you just right, a random okay. nigga. So they, they wouldn't even been able shit. to find you to they tell you shit. Tell me that. But if they so happen to tell me something, you feel me? I'm going to hear what you say, you feel me? But I'm taking it and I'm dumping it into the memory trash. I ain't trying to remember your, your bullshit, what you just told me. Like, mm -hmm. I got to experience the female myself and see what's going on. I'm always cautious anyway. I ain't no dumb nigga. I'm always cautious. So I'm going to see how it is, what's the vibe like and everything. But as far as what you said, that don't even it. matter. I don't care what you say. Okay, you what you me? think, DJ? Well, it's the same way. I'm going to get, you know, experience her for myself. I can't go out with... That they're experience. experience. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna be different. Some hating ass nigga trying to fuck your shit up, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's your problem. So, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I, I, well, not to say I don't agree with you guys. I really mm-hmm. don't agree. I don't know the girl from the pimp, uh, grain of salt. So it ain't like I could really take her word for it. Hell, even if it's my friend, sometimes it's like okay. So okay. So if this random girl come out in the way in your inbox trying to talk about some other nigga you talking you talking to, I just let them know that people talking crazy about it. I mean, this is honest experience, but I do know I've done experience that, and I was like, bitch, I should listen to that hoe. <laughs> but that's neither here and there. It was part of so my don't lesson. Tell you the truth. So, so, so what you part of my lesson, so it's okay. I was meant to, you know what I mean? So, that means what you're telling us right now is that you actually are going to hear this person out. No. Nah, because you're by your experience, I always that happened more than that happened more than once. So, it's not to say I would because it's not easy for you to listen. You done dated people, right? And people have told you something, and then you ain't too. Hot boogie to just take what they said, and you know them. You know the person, the person telling that's telling you, telling you about the person. I mean, that's a different story. Cause, cause, and that what I'm cause saying. Because if, you, if, if you're telling, if I know you, and then you know this girl, and then you tell me about this girl, the only way you can tell me about this girl is if you are deeper in my inner circle. You feel me? Okay, but some people in your inner circle, well, probably not you, but I know a lot of people, they don't listen to what the hell the person's saying, even if it is their family. And no, it's because yeah, they're in love or whatever the case may be. No. So even if I, yes, experienced to where I was like, bitch, that same thing that whole, that, to, that told me about that nigga child, that's yeah. crazy. I should listen to that whole ain't it? Yeah. That yeah. don't mean I'm finna listen to the next bitch that's no, trying to tell no, me. My inner circle, if you're telling me it's, uh, something was going on, that means you have to have some proof behind it. Don't come in, don't be in my inner circle where you're not going to be in it. Talking about he say, she say type of bullshit. Mm, yeah. If you're in my inner circle, you really know something happened to tell me what's going on. To tell you Now I can definitely heed the actual warning. Like, oh, and you'll okay, dump her. That's my, that's my person. Dump her, I don't know. Depends on the actual <laughs> situation. Like, what is it Drop you're telling me? Because you, because the person about, oh, yo, she's kind of a you know shallow person or she's materialistic whatever the case is. Ain't nobody because, gonna tell you all that. You know, nah, somebody could, could probably say that. Like, oh, yo, this girl, like, I see she's Y'all niggas don't that. talk like that. You feel me? Oh, unless yeah. you was like rich or something, they'll be like, oh, she trying to, she's a gold digger. Yeah, yeah. Now, we don't, we don't mm-hmm. say how, you know, I don't know if we be saying shit like, oh, nah, she just said for your money type of shit. Right. And I'm like, no, nah, yo, she's the type of person that want these type of things for me and stuff okay. like that. So, you know, you gotta watch out, watch your pockets, see what is it you try to get from you. You feel me? If it's that situation, yeah, I'm gonna listen. I'm like, okay, you know, you gave me a warning. I bet. But if it's something deeper, a deeper level that you went through experience with this girl, or you know, like you definitely know something that occurred, mm-hmm. then yeah, I'm like, oh, yo, this girl been getting slutted out, and she keeps doing the same thing over and over. And I'm like, oh shit, hell no, nah, that ain't the type of girl in my life. You feel me? <laughs> hell no. Nah. She she did what? But oh, what if nah, the person who's what if the ex boo is trying to warn you? That the person is a thief or something, like a, a fraud thief? or some shit. A fraud. Uh, if the ex or if she's this is some lifetime shit, and the bitch really kill niggas and shit. Like, come on, now. Sometimes you just gotta listen so you can see, see the red see flags. You know, red flags. I mean, I would have to see the red flag because she ain't gonna be my girl if I if I don't know who you is. You know what I mean? Oh, I and guess. she gotta be honest. You can be Although y'all niggas shit. be happy now, nowadays, but I guess. Now let's say a situation occur where. Nothing against it. <laughs> oh, y'all heard me say. <laughs> Not against it. Oh man, let's say it's a, situ- a situation occur where you know she wasn't completely truthful about who the type of person yeah. she is. That's a different story. I probably won't use you because of what Daw said, but now I done found out some facts. Your jawline. You, you feel me? Your Fuck whole that, month you know, ass. You feel me? If you used to kill niggas, tell me. Ass. I used to kill niggas. That means fun. a liar. <laughs> Montez. Montez is liar. You gotta be teaching DJ some Creole. I feel. Yeah. DJ don't be kind. He, he be tired. He worked ten thousand jobs. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look. What songs you got planned for me <laughs> next, DJ?
down. Lead you in the street, my nigga. Boy, DJ is letting it off tonight. All clips. That's what he's supposed to do, ain't What? It? Extend on that bitch, too. Stay lit. Stay lit. Woo! Shots fired. Welcome back to the Recipe Podcast, y'all. Yo. It's a little lit tonight. It could get a little lit in the midst, but you know, we tired. But we still here tonight. Gotta give y'all your D's, and I need the answer to these topics. Hello, good job. Oh, you ain't playing no games. I ain't done yet, y'all. I ain't, I ain't done, done yet. Whew, load it up. Load so it the up. second question I really wanted to know was, I'm the answer to, you know, do you believe in celibacy? And would y'all date somebody who's celibate? Do I believe in celibacy? What? What's wrong with it? I'm gonna tell her, you better get the fuck out of here with that shit. Well, your microphone at, DJ. Uh, what you got? Y'all want me to talk on the mic? Yeah, yeah. Let them hear you. Better get out of here with that <laughs> shit. What are you talking about? Why? Why? We, nah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about you celibate. You don't even go to church. What the fuck? You don't got to go to church to be it's celibate. A celibate going yeah, to church. <laughs> Talking about I'm celibate. I ain't seen you in church not one Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bust that shit open. Yeah, busting it open. Oh, open. But you don't need to go to church. Wait, no, the tooth fairy or something? So, oh, not man. the tooth fairy. So, so we know DJ. What about you, King? If they celibate, how long they been celibate? Oh, I'm back on that no? I do. You want to continue yeah. the journey with them? Is that? I mean, if you if you really real about it, I'm I'm a person who's I'm genuine. If you real about your celibacy and shit like that, cool. You feel me? If you're going on a journey, what I would want to know is like, what made you decide to be celibate? You know, That's a good question. What's the situation? Because I don't want to hear none of that. Oh, last person did me wrong. This that. No, it's not even that. Shit. That make no sense. You feel me? You made, you made a bad decision, okay, I understand that. Okay. And then, like, you know, as far as the the celibacy aspect and things like that, like, if you're doing it because you feel like a person did you wrong before, and that's why you're being celibate, it's not a I don't really think genuine that's really, uh, reason uh, uh, Yeah, because if you're going to be celibate, it's got to be for yourself. That's true. You and know? then the next nigga that come along that might tweak that thing through, you might just bust it wide open for real, because your ass don't want to be celibate for real. Exactly. Hello, John. You feel me? Or, or I'm doing because they're wrong. So, so when you think the nigga, the right nigga, now you just wide open. <laughs> DJ, he's lit back there. Nah, for real, DJ. He think about that damn celibate girl. He like hell mm. no. Nah, but me, I, for me, like I don't, I don't mind if it's if it's for yourself and stuff like that. Cool, everything you doing for yourself. I respect it, but if you're doing it because of outside forces, hey, fuck all that bullshit, man. You're celibate for what? What you mean? Yeah, what I say. What you mean? What you, better, you celibate for, man? You better miss me with that. <laughs> fuck that shit. Tonight's the night, then. Yeah, so you was busting it while over for the last nigga, now I'm over here. And you telling me, y'all? That's no? so inconsiderate. <laughs> <laughs> no, they cut to what, but they so inconsiderate. They don't care. What you mean? I, well, no, I, I ain't gonna lie. That I agree. I agree that you know what I mean. You know, yeah. It, it definitely got to make a logic. It, it, you know what I mean? You Behind it, sense. you can't sell it really, really. If it's just that simple. I already didn't see no only. Sell a bit means you sell a bit. You feel me? I'm not so I sell a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Just a bit. You feel me? But now, uh, so so you tell me if a guy says he's celibate, how you feel about that? Hmm? 
I mean, I don't, I don't approach men. I've never, hey, how you doing? What they do, man? I'm trying to decide. No, 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 no. For them to tell me. Let's let, let, let switch it. Let's put it in the, in the field. <laughs> Tell the truth, DJ. He didn't even believe how old I was, but go ahead. She's 25. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> not but for real, for real though. So, you in a relationship, not old approaching type. You in a relationship with the guy, you feel me? Because now it's going to be a two-part question. It's a whole question. relationship, my Yeah, man. now it's going to be a two-type question. What you mean? For you can know about the celibacy and stuff, you got to be a little deep, deeper. Now, if you got into the relationship... No, okay, people supposed to let you know it? that. Uh-uh. You supposed okay. to let me know that. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, while, while we talking? When you're first, hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm celibate. My name is such and such and such. I'm celibate. What the fuck? What type of shit is that? You might as well go ahead and get out there. Because uh, who the hell want to go? I want to know that that's what you are. I want to know everything that you are. It's bad enough people don't want to let you know they're a cheater and all that shit. Celibate is something you want second, you third know. day. God damn, we don't need second, to be in a relationship day. already. That's crazy. I mean, I don't really think you should be having celibate that Celibate, what's wrong about, with that? That's not that get, private. Until the conversation gets a little sexual. Until you okay. Then that so. Or like sometimes it don't need to. Sexual and sometimes it don't need to be. Sometimes you having an actual date and conversations come up. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays yeah. you gotta ask. Okay, cool. Question. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna try on the first day. night anyway. Oh. So DJ got no off rip. Hell yeah. <laughs> How you gonna try on the first night? You don't even know nobody in the first night. Cause I'm fucked. Because you was trying to well, use a one night stand. DJ playing with the mic. I understand. Can't hear you, DJ. I understand, Mike. Um, people like I said. I'm about to say, Mike. Mm-hmm. I understand. Michelle, get in the bed. I'm so done. Cause I understand people bed. like one night stands and stuff like that, and make it your business to not see the person again. But you know, people still do that. I guess people still do that. People love sex. Nah, I I don't know. It's so. No, in, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. So, so the first, I need to be in the journey with you. <laughs> I don't mind celibacy, but I gotta be there with you. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be part of it, and I bet not find out you busting shit for no one else. Neither. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, so I'm just, a, I'm just accepting your life, and that's a whole lie. Uh uh-uh. uh So day number one, he said he's celibate. You like, you know what? They it's fine. Have a good day. No, 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 no. 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 I'm still talking. You gonna still talk some? Okay, okay. Blind. Fine. Fine. I don't need you trying to dig all of my shit anyway. So that's Girl, fine okay, anyway. Okay, okay. That's for the husband stuff. You know, we already tainted our life. So now deep, a little so, deeper into the relationship, you feel, you feel me, and then you know. You, you ready you to want, grease? You, you want to get some, some out of him? And he like, nah, you know, I'm celibate. You know, I can't, can't do that. Then mm-hmm. I would really believe that he's celibate. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. Man, who says grease? I say grease. <laughs> yo, 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 DJ. Good burger. See, see, see <laughs> now, now, now she done. She done told her age, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a little. Done told her age. That's a little, y'all. you know, back there. That's yeah, back there. That's cool shit. DJ don't know what about that. What you know, that. DJ? DJ Young, man. man I say, man, bust it open. Bust it wide open. <laughs> is it? But see, for me, grease, it speaks for itself. No, I don't. You don't want to grease. It sounds like you're trying. Take it to the kitchen. Yeah. No, it don't. Ain't no footloose type shit. Take no. it out to eat or something. No, it don't. It sounds Wait, horrible. Wait, nah, hell nah. Come on, DJ. How grease sound like that? It sounds horrible. It really don't sound like that. Grease it. Trying to grease, you feel me? Yeah, it sounds horrible. Trying to slide. Nothing in that sounds. Thing. Ain't nothing sound nice. Good about greasy. that. Mm-hmm. Nothing sound good about it. Now, bust it wide open is worse though. Mm. DJ getting his life together, y'all. Yeah, y'all. But what's what's your next topic? I wanted to know. When the guy said he just wants to eat it, does he really just want to eat it, or is he lying? That he just want to eat it? Cause I think he's lying. Man. And if he ain't lying, hmm. Your microphone working it's on creepy. Yeah. Something it's creepy cool. about that. All I know, if I say I want to eat it, I'm going to be it too. That's what I'm saying. Why well, not? I don't believe people just want to eat it. And trust me, I've heard that plenty of times. They just want to eat it. I don't mm-hmm. believe that. 
Depends, depends on the type of person he is. Uh-uh. See, not gonna pop that coin. What if he's celibate? He just wanna eat it. If you celibate, you don't need to be eating <laughs> shit. You better go to McDonald's. Cause you ain't got to eat my shit. Talk about you celibate and I oh, gotta be man. celibate with you, but you eat my shit. That just don't work. Cause I mean, first of all, I don't know who came up with um, putting dicks in mouths and then putting some clits in them. My thing is, you was meant, you know, it's poles and boxes. If y'all get my drift. So hold up. So you it's telling poles me, and boxes. No, no, no. So you that's telling me that. that's all y'all really need for all that extra Wait. stuff. You know, y'all being extra. That's fine. But mm-mm. So, if you sell so, it, so that's you, not what you're this not, is you're for. Not for this whole oral sex type situation. It's it's fine for what it's for. But all I'm saying is, don't people need to not get carried away? Keep talking about let me eat that box. See, you can't just eat the box, and I don't believe that's all you want to do. <laughs> so, that, yeah, ain't, no, ain't nobody just want to eat. Boston, like I don't that. believe so. I, I, even the moon led people who who feel like that's the only way they could get some pussy feel like okay they offering they they mouth. Mm, they really the hope yeah. They hope they really hope. They just and I mean you really they really hope that you change your mind and say you know what. They, they think they're gonna turn you on enough and like, well, you and know change what? your mind. Let's stick that in real quick. Yeah. Slide in for you. If you call what? it the box, mm-hmm. you're free. <laughs> if any girl say hey something about the box it's a clean way know, to say the freaky way I know it gives way. a pussy if mm-hmm. she say anything about a box a box mm-hmm. hell yeah clean I mean she ain't playing she a freak mm-hmm. clean her she box talking about she trying to get that box DJ man if she say anything about a box I'm beating it up I don't know about that I don't got a box I ain't got nothing but flesh up here, and not no cardboard. <laughs> be beating up my shit. I'm gonna beat the box up. Oh man, you say you're not a cardboard? If I, if that's why I said I'm full flesh. Oh up here. man, I'm gonna be beating my box. Like so, beat. so what's a what's a nice way of saying it? A nice way of saying it. Yeah, if it's not the box, what's the, what's what's a nice way of saying it? There's no say nice it. way to say it. It's no, Bubba. It's what it's cat? Bubba stayed up. The cat. The pussy. Cat. Gucci. Bubba. All that. Bubble gum. If you want to be rude, you call it a crabby Not when they nasty. Gum, DJ. <laughs> yeah, it's you call it crabby when they, that they nasty. Gum. Ew, that sounds horrible. That's too much teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It sounds horrible. Eat that shit like it's lumpy. <laughs> that sounds horrible. That sounds worse <laughs> than bubble gum. Lumpy is cunk. Tell her, let me come lick it like a lollipop. On another hoe, no. <laughs> I think DJ the nasty one is a freak. Welcome to the recipe on the great FM. Ice cream vanilla. <laughs> Y'all make sure to please go follow the page, the podcast, the recipe. What's wrong with me? Make sure y'all bring whipped cream and next time. No whipped cream. We got special guests coming in next time. We probably will need some whipped cream. We bring your strippers time. next time. Look at DJ. DJ trying to turn it up to the for maximum. The, just for the guests Ooh. that we're going to have next time. We definitely yeah. going to need some whipped cream. Only fans. we going to need. You're going to have an only fan, DJ. The recipe only fans. Uh-uh. <laughs> we bring your strippers in this mug. No, we not. DJ being nasty, man. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that. You ain't about to make only Y'all going to do that all by yourself, and then, Hold you know, just tell me DJ? about it. You about to make only fans? Yeah, it's going to be called Dope Boy, Take Your Hoe Boy, and I'm going to put every nigga's hoe on her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> Yo, DJ ain't playing no games, man. DJ over here trying to set shit off. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next um show coming up. On Sunday, every Sunday. You doing this thing on Sunday? You gotta get your life together. You I gotta know, let them right? know, right? You know, you know when your show is, right? When's your show? It's just the nervousness, Why? guys. Why I'm just so happy to be here. You feel me? Okay, but y'all, you know, stay tuned. Go ahead and follow us on the Recipe Podcast on IG. Also follow me on Exotic Black Beau. Mm. That's B E A U. With you know missing the T Y, that's why. Y'all, y'all really do got her nervous, you feel me? When yeah, I don't know nervous, what's wrong. You know that she start pulling her hair a lot and shit like, mm. No, I do this, period. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> so when they can follow you out again, DJ, let them know. NF Dope Boy on Instagram. NF. 
Dope know. boy. Mm-hmm. On IG. And you know I'm out here on King's Creations, you feel me? So you can follow me on King's with a Z underscore creations on IG. On our platforms, we really. just look for King's Creation. I'll be here. I'll be here. We'll be around. <laughs> and you know, for the platform we are on, the Great FM. So you could go ahead and follow the Great FM. This is D A G R, the number 8 F M. You feel me? Do this thing real quick. DJ about to play some tunes. What we got going on? I'm with the sheets.